So what those protesters did yesterday isn't against the law, but should it be? Well, it is illegal in the United States. And to discuss this legal aspect, I'm joined by the barrister and writer Stephen Barrett. Stephen, it's always a pleasure. And you were very, very quick um, to jump on the uh, Metropolitan Police this morning and point out actually they're wrong, that these people were breaking the law. Can you set out, please, to GB view News viewers why that's the case? Yes, and I, perhaps I'll just explain to your viewers why that is. It's because of how we organise our criminal legal system. Back in the day, police officers didn't have a CPS, they didn't have a prosecution authority. They used to have to bring cases themselves. And the most important duty that they have is maintaining the king's peace. So the last thing anybody wanted, and police officers would, didn't have to have a very high level of formal education either. They, they, so the last thing anybody wanted was a situation where an officer was confused about whether or not they could arrest someone and something bad was happening. So we have created what I would call lots of offences. We've, we've over-created offences. And we've been doing this for, 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 for over 100 years. We've been creating lots and lots of offences so that if the officer isn't concerned about one offence, oh, well, then he can pick the other one and use that as the reason to arrest. And what happened last night was I got in and I just saw the, the massive public outrage at, at this. <laughs> you know, I'm not a criminal lawyer, but um, even I just, just reach for, I always reach for one of those offences and just say, look, this is outraging public decency. And mm -hmm. I think an officer in those circumstances would have reasonable grounds to arrest on the basis of that one offence. But then I started getting private messages from practising criminal barristers, people I respect. And I started to, to, to find out that there are even more offences because it, it, there's reasonable grounds to arrest for breach of the peace for that, mm. for, 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 for public nuisance for, for what happened. And then this morning, rather um, uh, chastised to learn that, that um, an MP, um, Mr Gullis, pointed out that he, he and another had created a specific statutory offence. Mm. Mm. Which, which would apply here. And that's because there would be reasonable ground to suspect that the war memorial would be damaged. And let me explain that to your readers, why there would be reasonable grounds to expect that the war memorial would be damaged. The war memorial was surrounded by reeds. This specific law about damage protects those reeds. I mm. don't know if your listeners have ever held one or had the honour of holding one mm. or touched one, but they are quite flimsy plastic. Mm. And if you step on one, it's going to break. And when you looked at those gentlemen getting on and off that war memorial, they were not paying great attention to where they were standing. So there is reasonable ground to suspect that one of those wreaths would be damaged. That is, that is another criminal offence and a reason to arrest that individual. So Mark Rowley is, is, a, is beyond... Well, he's, he's beyond the level of competence I would expect, or beneath the level of competence I, I think we would expect for, for a commissioner. He's starting to say things in public which make no sense and are unhelpful and misleading to the public. Had the officer arrested in those circumstances, the officer would have been perfectly mm. entitled to do so in law. Moreover, what on earth the commissioner thinks he's doing, giving an effective defence to any of these gentlemen should they be arrested later, by opining at his political event that in, in his view they're all innocent? Well, th thank you very much, uh, Commissioner, but you're supposed to not interfere in the, in, in, in the administration of justice in that way. He's certainly not helping the public, and he's not policing these protests fairly. Because what also happened, and I was glad to see that you highlighted another incident, but the campaign against anti-Semitism wanted to perfectly lawfully highlight those over 200 hostages, some of them babies, who have been kidnapped since the 7th of October, who seem to fall out of national consciousness very quickly, but as a father, I personally find them very hard to forget. And they wanted to drive around just showing those hostages and their pictures. Mm. And the Metropolitan Police used every single trick in the book yeah, to stop. Yeah, they stopped it. Yeah, they stopped it. And to simply, to, to then on the other hand say, oh no, I, I can't possibly criminalise somebody, you know, scampering over a war memorial and putting mm. copy reads at risk of damage. It, it's disingenuous. OK, Stephen Barrett, um, a comprehensive skewering of Mark Rowley's position there. It's always a pleasure to have you on. We could talk.